Xiaomi's two phones every year include one from the Redmi series and one from the Redmi Note series. The Redmi Note 5 is not as well received this year though the Redmi Note 5 Pro took away all the limelight. But now that we are seeing the Redmi 5 getting official in India, here is how the phone stands against the Redmi Note 5. Hey guys, this is Chetan Bhavani from Gizmo Times and this is the comparison of the Redmi 5 and the Redmi Note 5. The difference in the size is quite evident with the Redmi 5 having a 5.7 inch full view display compared to the 5.99 inch full view display on the Redmi Note 5. The material of choice is a little different as well, with the Redmi 5 having a plastic frame while it is a metal one on the Redmi Note 5. Though both have an aluminum pack, the Redmi 5 certainly is lighter and easier to hold, with the one-handed usage also being possible without a problem. But while being bigger, the Redmi Note 5 has the advantage of offering the extra screen for someone who wants to take full advantage of it and have a bigger display, of course with the MIUI helping in a better one-handed usage when needed. The display seems sharper and better on the Redmi Note 5. Thanks to the full HD plus resolution, that is 1080 into 1260 pixels, giving it about 403 ppi of pixel density. On the other side, the Redmi 5 has a HD plus display with a 720 into 1440 pixels of resolution, giving it a modest 282 ppi of pixel density. One major difference between the two phones, apart from the size, is with the chipset itself. It is the well proven and probably the company's favorite Snapdragon 625 that powers the Redmi Note 5, while the Redmi 5 gets its power from the Snapdragon 450 platform. There will be variants based on the RAM and storage, which is quite common these days. But the difference in the processor also changes a few things when it comes to what is compatible. For example, although it's the same camera on both the phones, the larger Redmi Note 5 is capable of capturing 4K videos, while it is restricted to 1080p videos on the Redmi 5. As said, the cameras are not so different as the two phones come with a 12MP f2.2 camera on the back with the 1.25 micrometer pixel size, and there's a face detection autofocus on both. Even on the front, there's a 5 megapixel camera for selfies and both the devices have an LED flash for the front cameras as well. For a few things like the MIUI version and the Android version, it is the same with the MIUI 9 running on both the devices, uh, that's the latest MIUI version but both are based on the Android Nougat OS. And the phones also have the IR blaster on the top to help as a quick remote whenever needed. The battery charging standard stays the same, with the phones having a support for 5 way 2 way charging and not better than that. But one big difference here could be with the battery capacity, as the Redmi 5 has a 3300mAh battery in comparison to the 4000mAh battery on the Redmi Note 5. While it might seem that the battery should last longer on the bigger phone, it has a higher resolution display to cater to, so the battery life shouldn't really be different but that depends on the usage again. Now, the final difference is between the prices of the device and which is again quite expected because the Redmi Note 5 series is a bit higher priced when compared to the Redmi series all the time and that is where this comparison ends. So these were the differences between the Redmi 5 and the Redmi Note 5. Again the choice depends on what you need. The Snapdragon 450 isn't a bad chipset at all but in the end if you want a larger screen you should go with the Redmi Note 5. I hope you like this video, if you have any other questions about this device, do let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to answer that and subscribe to Kismo Times for more. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.